in a world overrun by invasive species, be it blackberry, knotweed, scotch broom, or ivy, all cause a problem for salmon and the native vegetation that inhabit the beautiful state of Washington. With great battles come great warriors, but only one organization can be the greatest. The Washington Conservation Corps. The safety officer, production assistant, tool officer, and the assistant supervisor all combine into an unstoppable force to send the invasions back into oblivion. Why did you join the WCC? So I initially joined the Conservation Corps of Minnesota and Iowa. Um, I had just gotten out of college and there weren't any opportunities really for restoration of any sort, so it seemed like a natural choice for me. So, um, and when I decided to move to Washington, it was pretty easy to transfer over and um, to join the Washington Conservation Corps. And I'd gone to college for like biology and environmental science, but a lot of the jobs that I had uh, on my resume were not environmentally oriented. So I needed to sort of get out of that field and get my foot in the door to a conservation naturalist kind of position and um, I felt like this position would help me do that. I moved out here uh, last May and uh, from Ohio and I was looking for a step in the door for WCC and I was a quarter term uh, member and I decided to stay on with uh, Mr. Peter Nevin uh, for a second year. I've uh, always wanted to move out, out west uh, to, to the mountains. I visited Alaska and I kind of fell in love with the mountains and this job was perfect. It was uh, an introductory job to introduce me to the landscape around here, all the, all the native plants, and uh, mainly just to get me out here and it's proven to be a lot more than that. What was your favorite work site? I really enjoyed the novelty hill shape cloth removal project. Um, basically, there was a roadside mitigation site and it wasn't meeting its requirements for water temperature, so shape cloth ended up being deployed over the site and over the wetlands there. And uh, so we got to go out and, you know, pull the shade cloth back for the winter and then redeploy it again for the summer. And we'll be going out in a week or two to pull it back. Oh, uh, well, I had the pleasure of going to, uh, on the Grappina Spike. Beautiful area. It's a place where I spend my free time, and it was awesome to actually go out and work there. Um, but saw lots of wildlife, bears, and it was a good learning experience, too. Well, I really enjoyed the spiking opportunities we had uh, in the crew year. Uh, my favorite one was the creosote log spike in Fort Townsend and uh, the decommissioned military bases near there. Essentially, we um, went in there with hook, giant hooks and pulled out these giant like telephone pole-sized logs soaked in creosote and got them off the beach to dispose of them. And it was beautiful weather, beautiful beaches, and it was a nice bonding time for our crew. My favorite work site is definitely Kanasku. Uh, it's right off the Green River. Uh, we actually don't get cell phone service there, except for Virgin Mobile users, which is me. I'm the only one out here, I think. So it's kind of nice to have the only service out there. Uh, but mainly, it's just a thing pleasing. I found uh, elk time. I found an elk time there, and it was great. What did you gain from your year at the WCC? Well, I'm not originally from Washington, and so I was never really familiar with the plants and uh, practices uh, utilized to plant plants and maintain them. So joining this position in the WCC not only taught me 
how to use power tools, but also taught me all the native plants in the Pacific Northwest and how to care for them. Well, it was nice because I did quarter term um, the previous year. I didn't get to experience planting season or like pretty much all of like the season except for summer maintenance. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was, it was great to learn all the new things like planting and staking uh, and hanging out in the winter is pretty fun. I learned a lot about native plants and their Latin names. Uh, Peter and Evan will be proud. Um, but a lot about teamwork too. I haven't really worked in a group of, a small group, and this has uh, been a year's worth of working in a small group. A lot of different crew roles to take on, a lot of uh, different responsibilities. And it's been a great learning experience for me. I gained a plethora of skills, uh, like hand tools and power tools and that sort of thing, um, you know, using different devices that we need for restoration and different restoration techniques, and those are all very marketable skills, but I also learned a lot about, um, you know, taking responsibility and leadership roles and uh, teamwork and, you know, performing well in inclement weather and that sort of thing. And, and pushing myself physically, so that was very important too and helpful. What is your crew role? My crew role was the tool officer, uh, which I had a lot of a lot of experience from my previous jobs then. So it was nice to be able to share that knowledge and to uh, you know, pass it on to other people and teach them what I know. What the heck are you guys doing? And this is how you pull IV. Uh, it's nice to be responsible for what kind of tools the crew uses and coming up with creative s solutions. I was the crew safety officer. So that's uh, in addition to being a great line for my resume because every job wants to know that you know how to be safe. Um, you know, it was great for, you know, learning about how to, you know, properly give people PPE and encourage people to drink water and make sure that my teammates are safe. BAM! SAFETY! Make sure our loads are secured and that sort of thing. And it was also a great way to get respect from my crewmates. Well, I was the production officer for our crew and it was uh, really interesting to be assigned that role, um, not only because of its uh, value in the WCC, since I essentially wrote reports for the government uh, showing them what we did, uh, but it was a nice segue for, from my previous jobs and uh, it was a nice way for me to essentially build on communication with my crew. Katie, one more roll caller. Katie, various roll callers. Katie, roll caller. And another one. I was the assistant supervisor, um, which it's the first leadership experience I've ever had working. Um, so it was, it was good to grow and learn new leadership uh, skills and just keep trying to improve myself.
Coho. Leaving this fall.